G'day, I'm Ray Tomes from New Zealand. Following my work in the harmonics theory, I realised that matter must be made of standing waves, and I came to this idea of a spherical, a symmetrical standing wave to be what particles were made of, and I put this information on the internet in 1994. I was able to, be, to deduce this from an understanding that Everything that exists is made of wave structures, uh, standing waves in the universe. When I put this on the internet, I got a, an approach from Milo Wolf, who has, says, Welcome to the club. He had been putting this fi forward, uh, this idea, for some time already, and explaining electrons as standing wave structures. Um, later, we were joined by Jeff Hazelhurst, who has developed a very substantial website. Uh, explaining all the details of this and showing that the in and out waves and the fact that you get the wave and particle properties of matter clearly explained from this. Actually we were all preceded by Yuri Ivanov who did these interesting diagrams showing that if you have two particles um, they will make interference patterns if one is moving uh, or in the cases uh, of various motions of circular motions and so on they'll make these wonderful interference patterns and he did a variety of, of different diagrams and developed all the formulas showing how this worked and how it explained the things that happened in relativity and so on. Um, in, in, this, in the case of acceleration you get this pattern which he calls a spider. Another person who's done wonderful animations is Gabriel Lafreniere and he showed here how a wave is made from the incoming part, a standing wave, plus the outgoing part. These two components together make a standing wave, um, which, which you can see here. Uh, so it appears to just stand in space, but it's actually composed of the inwards and outwards waves. Of course the outwards wave is just the inwards wave after it has passed through the centre and comes out again of the spherical wave descending on a point. So this, this type of wave has the correct properties that we need to explain particles. If the particle is in motion, then the point at which it's converging has to be moving so the, the waves are converging on a point and coming out from a point in opposite ways so when you get the standing wave you get this suddenly a strange effect where the wave that we saw before has superimposed on it these other bands of alternating phase and these are de Broglie waves all these calculations as we had all managed to derive these calculations that show the de Broglie waves from this understanding of standing waves but in this animation uh, Gabriel has made it very clear uh, how these what's actually going on and the understanding of all of these things it's clear that these are real waves it's nothing to do with probabilities as is talked about in quantum mechanics real waves are happening that explain the, the nature of matter as being standing waves